Hey guys, it's Chippy from Ultrabook News. Uh, just with a quick update from the studio for you at the end of day two of Computex out in Taiwan. If you've been hiding under a rock, Computex is one of the biggest laptop related events of the calendar and um, it's been huge and it's been all about Ultrabooks and all about that mobile computing experience. Uh, we've had some massive days. We've had three record days, one after the other. We're still, we've already broken yesterday's traffic and we've got another four hours, three hours to go. So thank you to everyone that came to Ultrabook News uh, to check out uh, check out the news and the database. The database has been extremely popular. Uh, thanks to Nils Jacoby who's been keeping that up to date uh, over the last three days. He's actually put in 30 new devices which gives us an idea of, of how that Ultrabook market is developing now. We are looking at devices that are starting at 599, which is incredible and in fact might squash out that competitor. AMD, who had a press conference this morning and talked a lot but didn't really show a lot from their partners. Uh, in comparison with Intel, who pulled the curtain down on something like 50 Ultrabooks that were on stage, real devices that are uh, going to be available very shortly. We actually have 57 Ultrabooks in the database now. Um, uh, some of those are Windows 8 coming up in Q4, of course, uh, and there's 82 uh, ultra thins overall, including ultra books. I'm sure we could add some more as well. Um, I want to say a quick thank you first, though, to some of the guys that were out in Computex who fed us with news and kept in contact with us, especially Netbook News. That's Sasha and Nicole and their team out there on the floor. Um, James as well. Hi, James. Thank you very much for keeping in contact with us. Uh, we've been tracking you the last four days, highlighting your videos, hopefully, and giving you some some sort of uh, at least some sort of kickback. Um, they are tech focused. Um, uh, Ballas Gyal is out there. He's been keeping us up to date with some videos, good videos. Ballas, uh, we've got Johannes from NewGadgets.de new again stay in contact with us thank you very much uh, laptop mag avram pilch uh, from laptop mag thank you for keeping in, in touch with us avram richie from richie's room i know you've got an acer s5 out there send it over here please um <laughs> what else um we had 46 articles go out over the last five days four days which is uh, way way more than we normally do we're usually putting about three articles out a day max that was 10 articles a day average 18 hour days from everyone thank you so much guys a couple of takeaways i uh, just want to talk about before i uh, before i go of course, Windows 8 and Touch was a huge, absolutely dominated day one, pretty much day, sorry, day zero and day one of Computex. Of course, this is something that's not going to happen until Q4, but the amount of buzz that's create, been created through that and the amount of press that's going to happen in the next few weeks as journalists and analysts think about this change, think about whether it needs marketing to make it change or whether Windows 8 is going to make it change on its own, whether people are going to really appreciate that touch experience or whether it's going to be something that maybe doesn't take off as well as we thought. We don't know yet. Um, certainly I've been someone that's used touch uh, laptops for four years now and I know you can use them uh, but you have to train yourself. There has to be something in it for you and unless you're excited about that like I am you won't train yourself you need that experience to tell you to come and touch it and Windows 8 hopefully will do that so that's something to think about I'm sure we'll have lots to talk about uh, uh, in podcasts we're, we're trying to plan some podcasts um, over the next few weeks um, Acer's uh, S7 interesting Acer really really taking a step forward in their design process there Acer has not been over the uh, let's say the netbook era uh, the best in design uh, very sort of build, build to price in terms of uh, their build quality but really seeing some advances there the S5 and the S7 really showing some great advances so I'm quite excited to, to look at the S7 um, what else prices I mentioned 599 that is so significant um, it was only one year ago where uh, Intel talked about a thousand and yet pri uh, devices were coming in at eleven hundred dollars uh, or more we've seen prices drop down of course uh, to 799 uh, but now entry levels at 599 bear in mind now that there's about four or five devices lined up for this 599 mark from Lenovo from Dell from Toshiba from potentially from HP and who was the other one I can't remember now Asus of course and of course Acer if the S price of the S3 drops that's going to get an Ivory Bridge upgrade 
just think about what's going to happen in the next uh, few months as America and the Western Europe uh, well this part of the world that we're in uh, prepares for back to school after summer holidays there's a big marketing push going to happen there price is going to be down below 599 I think so that's hugely significant so uh, that's about it for this update I just want to thank you all again for, for coming along we, we're still doing the news we've got a big list of stuff to to get to sorted out um, I know I've got about three articles for today to 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 write up but also wanted to tell you about next week because uh, on Tuesday I'm going to see Samsung we're going to pick up a um, excuse me an Ivy Bridge uh, series 9 ultrabook they are actually called ultrabooks now uh, and we're gonna have that for a week to test so Thursday next Thursday come along in the evening well in time about 9 p.m. we're gonna switch the cameras on we're gonna sit here in the studio for a couple of hours at least and just get into Ivy Bridge now I've had the Samsung series 9 uh, before so I know uh, what the differences will be we've also got a couple of Sandy Bridge ultrabooks here to do comparisons with so let's work out exactly what Ivy Bridge brings and for what sort of people uh, Ivy Bridge is important um, and uh, the rest of you will probably be enjoying lower prices on Sandy Bridge because they will still coexist side by side so that is it thank you very much for uh, being with us the last few days stay with us I'm gonna have a beer now and enjoy the rest of my evening get back to normal sleeping time so cheers thank you and catch up with you in the next video cheers and that is very very nice <laughs>